When I was first learning Blender, there wasn't a lot about the Blender game engine, and it was really disappointing because I love video games myself, um, and there wasn't a lot on that. So hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. Uh, we're gonna head on over to Cycle, for, not to Cycles, I'm sorry, to Blender game engine today to do some stuff that is really different than a lot of the stuff that we do. As you can tell, when I change over, you can see on this right-hand side, um, we have a lot of different settings that just change instantly like that. Um, so this is completely different than the regular Blender internal or Blender cycles, um, either one of them. So first things first I want to do today is I want to set up like this very simple uh, FPS camera. And what we're going to do is I'm going to actually leave all of this stuff for today. I'm going to leave all this except for the camera, so we're going to set the camera and delete that because we don't need it. I'm going to hit Shift A or go over here to create on my keyboard, add in a, uh, add in a plane, and we're going to scale that up to... Uh, just about the size of the grid and um, we're gonna select our cube hit 5 1 on my numpad and we're going to hit GZ and move that on up right above that red line right there just right above it um, so now we have our cube uh, right on the uh, on the plane I'll scale that plane up a little bit more with S um, and with uh, one on my numpad I'll go back into the front facing view and we will hit uh, shift A and add in a camera and we'll drag that right up above the cube and just a little bit back something like uh, right there looks pretty good so with our camera and our cube selected so holding down shift I'm gonna right click our cube and select our cube and hit control P to now parent our camera to the cube so we can hit parent right there and now if we move our cube around our camera will follow so we can move around like that right um, so if I go into the camera's view I'm going to uh, go to I'm gonna select the camera and go to the camera options over here on the side and I'm going to change the focal length to somewhere around 20 focal length because I like the way it looks better. Um, so now we have all that set up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go to this bottom over here. And I'm going to split my window into two by dragging that little triangle. And we're going to open up the logic editor. We've never done this before on the channel. Um, so uh, so we're going to we're going to get started today. I'm going to fix this up a little bit before we go. Uh, we actually don't need the timeline right now, so we can get rid of that. Uh, give ourselves give ourselves a bit more space. So what I'm going to do is with the cube selected, I'm going to add in a sensor, and this is going to be a um, a keyboard sensor. So this keyboard sensor is going to be our first key. So this is going to uh, this is going to be W. So I'm going to I'm going to press in the key box here. I'm going to press W for that. Um, and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to downsize that with this little button right here. Actually, I'm going to call this W. By the way, I'm going to call that W and downsize that. I'm going to add in one more. Uh, sensor and that's also going to be keyboard and this is going to be a and I'm going to type in key a right there and I'm going to do this uh, two more times for um, for s and d one more keyboard sensor for d right there so now we have WASD so we can move our cube around and with all these in the actuator side over here pretty much this is the sensor this is what we're telling it to do and this is what we need it to do pretty much is what it's is, is the best way I can explain that so we're gonna add in a motion actuator and this motion actuator um, this can be a bit tricky so you might want to do a bit of trial and error here uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to from simple motion to character motion and we're gonna hit add right there um, and we're gonna hook up the W to this first motion actuator right there so we're gonna hook that up and it's gonna instantly create an and controller so that's pretty much what this is saying now it's just saying we want um, every single time we press W we want it to go ahead and calculate that that's what this and does we want this W to calculate and we want it to calculate in the motion that we tell it to go so we want the W to move um, I think this is the X location, uh, X, Y, Z, I think it is pretty, I'm pretty sure. Um, if it's not, we can always go back and fix it, so don't worry about that. Um, but uh, if I go ahead and I hit uh, my camera view, or I can just like do this, hit P, and then hit W, that's not the right way, like I said. So that you might, a bit of trial and error, that is the X axis, so the Y axis is what we need, um, and the Y axis is going to go 1, 2, um, and P now we move forward all right so we move forward now every time I touch the the W key right um, so that's what we need um, and I'm also going to downsize that and the motion right now so I'm gonna actually type W on that so we don't get confused so that is the character motion for the W key I'm gonna add in another motion this motion is going to be for a so I'm gonna change this to character motion once again and now since a we need to go to the left we're gonna go and minus 
uh, point two on our X location. So this is X, Y, and Z right here. So um, so we're gonna hit Add. Make sure Add is on for that one as well. We're gonna hook these up and downsize that and controller. Hit P on my keyboard, or we can go up here to Game, Start Game Engine. And if I hit A, we should go to the left, and W should go forward. So now we can go both of those directions, but we can't go we can't go back and we can't go to the right. So we need to fix that. We're gonna add in two more motion controllers. One two for the last two we're gonna call this s and we're gonna call this d change both of these to character motion and um, uh, we're going to hit add on both of those so we can add all those together pretty much what this is is it just it, it helps out later on uh, I'll kind of explain that a little bit better on later once we have the camera controls and everything going on it just helps out a bunch later on um, it's good practice to do so location um, this is S, so S is going to go backwards, so we're going to go backwards on Y, which is negative 2. Um, I'm, I'm picking negative, uh, negative point 2, by the way, because um, if I go like negative 1, you should be able to see when we play this, like that goes, oh, I didn't hook it up. Um, it, it goes way too fast, in my opinion, so that's way too fast, so I'd like to go with, uh, with point 2 for any of these. Um, if we're going backwards, it's going to be negative, negative, and if we're going forward, it's going to be plus, of course. Um, so that's hooked up now. We have the S going. And the final controller for the motion for the cube is D. And, and D, we're going to be going to the right of the X. So that's going to be plus 2, correct? If I play this, we should be able to go to the right, to the back, left, and forward. So now we can go all those different directions. Um, now, depending on what game you're making, this could be all you need. <laughs> But uh, that is not the case. But if I if I go ahead and I um, go to the camera's view here and I hit P, you should be able to see that now we can move just kind of like a first-person shooter, but we cannot actually move our camera around, which is not good. Um, so I'm going to get in that into, into that in the next video. This was just how to set up the WASD keyboard controls for our character. Um, and that was pretty very simple, as you can tell. Um, nothing too special. That is that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. I'll see you guys in the next Blender Game Engine tutorial. Until then, bye.